Every year around Halloween, I pay a visit to my favorite house in Beverly Hills, the Witch's House, AK Spadena House, even though I will call it forever the Beverly Hills Witch's House. You would think that witches live in forests only, but no, they live in fancy areas as well. Spadena House looks like the house from Hansel and Greta fairy tale, and no matter how many times I've been to see it, it's always like going to Disneyland to me. If the house seems familiar to you, you've probably seen it in movie Clueless. But let's talk more about the history of the house. The house was designed by Hollywood art director Harry Oliver, who went on to play a major role in storybook architecture. It was originally built in 1921 to serve as the offices and dressing rooms for Irvin Wireless Film Studio in Culver City. When the studio closed, the Spadena family moved the home to its current location in Beverly Hills where it has been since 1926. In 1997, the house needed a lot of renovation, so it was put up for a sale. After most buyers wanted to tear it down, which seller of course didn't allow, the realtor Michael Lebo, who was selling it, fell under the spell of the house and decided to buy it himself. He has been living there ever since. Spadena House is located on 516 North Walton Drive and it's listed as protected landmark number 8 in the city of Beverly Hills. As for now, no tours are available but you're welcome to snap a photo outside. The house is also the subject of many urban legends. Some say the house was built by a Snow White and Seven Dwarfs fanatic. Others have claimed that a house was built for a movie version of Hansel and Gretel. I personally think the witch is hiding somewhere around there, for sure, and the owner doesn't even know. What do you think?